Bob the Tomato here, and right now I'm in the middle of the desert. Well, it is so hot, and there is so much sand. Where I'm about to get to the bottom of the amazing story of one of my personal heroes, Abraham, a man of incredible patience. Where's the patience? No, not that kind Maybe of... Maybe we should skip hey, this part and hurry up and find this Abraham I guy. I have cookies waiting, you remember? Wait? Whoa! You look kind of rad. Hey, you have a not, I'm not the Come patient. Here, I'm, I'm the director. I'm not here. Yeah, I'm here like... Big dude! Jean-Claude, move that light over. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Abraham's nose is shiny. Uh, could I get some makeup here? Makeup! <laughs> God bless you! And that background, it, it looks a little bit too deserty. Uh, Philippe? Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Mr. Abraham, you are the father of a great nation. What is the secret to your leadership? Well, frankly, I'm a Bob! What happened? Um, we ran out of tape. Well, get another. I brought plenty. Actually, you're down to one, Bob. One? Uno. Just have to get through this kind of quickly then, huh? Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, everyone. Take three. Take three! I said, frankly, I'm as surprised as you. Cut! Take four! Uh, as I said, uh, frankly, I'm as surprised. So, these are spitting camels. Cut, cut, cut. Uh, very sorry, Mr. Abraham. I'm so embarrassed. You all blushing. But I I'm red. That's what I said. <laughs> you are definitely a man of great patience. Patience! No, no, no! Patience! Not patience! Oh, that makes perfect sense. Cookies waiting. Abraham interview. Take five. Ow. Sorry, moving right along. Uh, all right, then. Uh, back to your <laughs> story, Abe. Well, to tell you the truth, Bob, it's all about hope and trusting that God is going to do what he says he's going to do, <laughs> even if it takes some time. Well, hey! But waiting is really hard. Sure it is. But sometimes you got to wait, even when the waiting ain't easy. You know, my name wasn't always Abraham. It used to be Abram. That was back when I was living the high life with my wife, Sarah, in the town of Ur. Ur? Ur. You are Ur. We are Ur, not Ur. Refreshments and loads of family. But when I say family, well, I mean my brothers and sisters. You see, Sarah and I had not been able to have any children of our own. And that's what we wanted, a child. Here's your ball. That's Harold! Aunt Sarah, that's <laughs> I think I'd make a good mommy. Uh, this is Lot, Abraham's favorite nephew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you kids! <laughs> oh, sure, I think maybe Abe and Sarah wanted kids. Uh, but sheeper like kids. Uh, plus, you can set pizzas on their backs like a little table. So, you know, extra awesome! We love it in her, we love it in her! Hey! It's really, really, really nice, nice in her! her! And then one day, God spoke to me. He told me to leave my country, my father's home, for a land that he would show me. It was very surprising. This is very surprising. God said one day my children and my children's children would become a great nation, and he was going to bless me. God bless you! Finally, a child of our own! <laughs> I can't wait! Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, sit up, turn around, sit down! Whoa. I, I sat on something 
sharp. That's fantastic, Carl. Moving right along here. Yes, uh, let's talk about... Patience. <laughs> I was still young. Seventy-five. Practically a seedling. But, but I was at peace and ready for the adventure ahead. Peace? It was a mess. Packing. Change of address forms. Plus, I have to plan for a baby. He knew I preferred to live near my mother. So, Sarah. Are you sunburned? I'm red. That's what I said. You know, I've got an ointment for that. So, anyway, God said to go, but where? Abe says he didn't say. He didn't say? It's like making my insides all crazy, like, like a smoothie. You know what I could go for right now? A smoothie. I love those. Bob, we're running low on tape. Sir, could you make your answers a little more short and peppy? But uh, it, it didn't happen, short and peppy. Then just skip to the part where we learn about patience. Patience! <laughs> As you were saying. So we obeyed God, leaving our homeland of Ur immediately. Lot tagged along, too. We took a lot of sheep. Lot took a lot of pizza. A lot. We finally arrived in Canaan. Well, life was good. But still no children. Then, famine hit. Lot ate all the pizza. What? It was cheese in the crust. Hey, you kids! So we decided to move again, this time to Egypt, to weather it out. And though we didn't have our own home... And still did not have a child... We were patient! It wasn't easy, but we waited for God's promise. I spent time thinking about all the things I would do with my baby. And I started thinking up names for him. <laughs> Larry, Mo, Shemp. God had made us a promise, and we had hope. When waiting got hard, it helped me to think about how wonderful it would be when we got our promise. So that's how patience paid off. The end. Okay, let's go home, Bob. Cookies await. Uh, Junior, what about the child they were waiting for? The child? We wanted a child? Haven't you been listening? Mm, sorry. Cookies on the brain. Anyway, we were at the part when Abe Shepherds and Lot Shepherds started fighting. Fighting? <laughs> yeah, you do not want to wear wool in the desert. It makes you grumpy. You're telling me! <laughs> Lot and I love each other like brothers, but our shepherds... <laughs> well, that's another story. <laughs> So, I allowed Lot to choose which direction he would go, and that land would belong to him, east or west. I think I'm gonna go east. And my dear nephew went his own way. My last bit of family left. <sighs> That was a sad day. But that's the time when God spoke to him again and reminded him of his promise. God told me to look around, all around, east and west. He promised me that all the land would be mine and that my descendants would outnumber the sand. But I can't count the sand. I think that's the idea, honey. It was a wonderful promise. And then, right when we thought our answer was about to arrive, war broke out! You've got to be kidding me! This is never gonna end! You can't rush God's promises! Would you please hurry up and get to the lesson in patience? Patience? That's what I'm talking about! I can't do this anymore, Bob! Yeah, what he said! I'm burning hot out here! <laughs> That helped a little. Bob, I'm tired of waiting. I want to go home. I want my cookies. Now! Junior, 
Come on. This is why we're here. For what, Bob? So I can miss the cookies my mom promised me? No, Junior. You're eventually going to get the cookies your mom promised you. Well, but what can I do in the meantime? Well, do you trust that your mom's going to do what she said she's going to do? Yeah. You're right, Bob. I'll get my cookies eventually. I shouldn't have gotten so upset. But we're still out of tape! Oh, no. I got an extra if you want it. You mean it? Sure. It's the second season of Dancing with the Stars. And you can tape over it. Ready to roll. So, Abe, I too know how hard it is to wait calmly for something you really, really want. Tell us what happened next. Then I got a new name, Abraham, which means father of many nations. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Then God made good on his promise. And sure enough, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy. The baby God promised 15 years earlier. Isaac. The boy that would become the father of Israel. The nation that would bless the whole world. All the way through King David to Jesus. Wait, that's the end? You're done with the story? Well, there's a lot more, actually. But as far as patience goes, it's a good place to stop. Dad, 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 dad! Can we shoot a few holes? <laughs> you got it, son. Come on. <sighs> what a nice story. Aren't you glad you waited? So there you have it. Patience. It's not always easy to wait, but God always comes through with his promises. Are you ready for your cookies now, Junior? What? Already? Oh boy! Cookies, here I come! Do you suppose there might be some cookies for us? Oui, oui, mon ami! 